What's up guys, it's your boy Thurs and I'm back with another video. Before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that every time I drop a new video, you're gonna be the first ones to know. Now you guys, in today's video, don't mind me you guys, I look a little rough, it's only 10.30. Um, I'm on my way right now to get my COVID vaccine. I'm pretty excited, but pretty nervous at the same time. I'm praying so bad that I do not get any like crazy side effects at least i know maybe probably like a, a sore arm but i'm hoping that's it so i'm taking the pfizer exam i said pfizer exam so i'm taking the pfizer vaccine which today is my first dose so i'm going to keep you guys posted and show you guys what goes on throughout the week if anything comes up hopefully not pretty nervous like i said so i'm on my way right now and let's get to it I'm here, it is 10.52, and this is the area, as you can see. I think I have to go check in, and then um, I'll let you guys look what's on inside. These are just a whole bunch of information. You guys, I just got the first dose. As you guys saw, um, I had to spend 15 minutes in the observation area just so anything happens. But um, they didn't really want people to record in there just to protect people's privacy. But I have to come back on the 27th of April to take my second dose. Right now, I'm not feeling anything, just a little bit of soreness in my arm. But as the day goes on, I'm gonna monitor it. And then if anything pops up, I'll let you guys know but like i said i took the pfizer vaccine it was in and out really quick not a long line or anything but um like i said it's just relatively sore but i'll keep you guys posted so it's been an hour since i got the vaccine and i'm doing pretty fine my arm is just sore i feel like it's getting even more sore but i kind of take my mind off of it just to load let it do what it's gonna do but i'm feeling fine for the first hour so i'm just gonna keep you guys posted hour well maybe not hourly but i don't know but i'm feeling fine for now it's been three hours now i think three to f close to four three close to four hours three hours and a half i think since you know i got it um the soreness is getting really more intense but it's not it's bearable it's like you know when you've done working out when you finish working out and then like you know you feel that pump that's exactly how it feels like but the best thing I'm trying to keep doing is moving the arm, not to just let it just relax, just so it doesn't just stay there. But I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just sleepy, but I don't think the sleepiness is coming from the vaccine. I think it's just coming from me just being tired. So I'm doing fine. Like I said, I'm just sore. The main reason why I really wanted to get this vaccine, you guys, is because um, number one, we had a scare in my household and it was a really, 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 well, it wasn't a scare, it actually happened, but it was like really bad. And that experience, I would say, was not the best. And like, you don't wanna have it again. So, and plus my school, I feel like it's gonna require us further down to have the vaccine. But since the next semester, God willing, I'm going to clinicals actually off site i'm gonna have to most likely have been vaccinated that's two and then number three is because y'all i haven't gone on a vacation in like five years and i'm really trying to get out of the state probably out the country so just in case you know these countries want to require COVID vaccines passports or whatever i'm already set for that like i'm ready to go not to say that people don't be going without the vaccine, but personally, that's just how I feel. So if you feel different, that's you, we're different. But like I said, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to take it. 
Number one, like I said, the whole scare. Number two, school. Number three, this vacation thing. Number four, honestly, is just whatever. But like I told you guys, I'm going to keep you guys updated. So I think right now, I'm like I said, I'm doing really fine. But I've heard a lot of people say, like, it's not until the second dose. It gets a little challenging, but I'm hoping that I don't have anything. Like I said, I have to go in the 27th, like I said. And they said that they're going to send me a whole whatever time frame they tell me. That's when they're going to tell me to come. This, that, and the third. I got it in my right arm because I'm a lefty. And God forbid if anything were to happen... I need my left hand to write and do a whole bunch of other functions. So I just did it in the right. But when I do the other one, I don't know if they're going to allow me to still do it in this one. I'm going to also do it in the right. But you could kind of feel sometimes a little. I don't know how to describe it. But like I said, I'm doing fine. Keep you guys posted. It's been at least like 12 hours, I think. If it's not 11, it's 12 hours since the vaccine. I'm not going to lie. it it's really sore compared to like the flu shot that i got it's sore but i keep trying to move like i keep trying to move it and it's like really sore but i don't know if it's because i'm tired but i just felt extremely fatigued like i really wanted to go to sleep but i didn't because i had work to do but i feel like i don't know i'm going to look up the side effects and whatnot again because it should be somewhere in the sheet. I'm going to double check to see if fatigue is one of them. Because I felt really tired. But like I said, I don't know if it's just a regular tired. Or a symptom of like a side effect or something after the um, vaccine. So like I said, guys, so far nothing crazy. Hoping nothing crazy. Just soreness. And it, like at first it was, you felt the soreness. But... It wasn't as bad, but now it's it's like kicking in. I'm going to check with you guys tomorrow and let you guys know how it is. But like I said, it's good. You guys, it's been a week since I took the vaccine and literally nothing happened. Thank God. Thank God. Because that was the biggest thing I was nervous for. Besides the soreness that I told you guys that I had throughout the night, it was bad. It was worse. Like I tried it with my arm. It was like type painful but it was bearable to me and then turns out the tiredness was not from schoolwork it was actually one of the little symptoms that i might get that you might get after taking the um vaccine as it says here in the paper so i was tired i was feeling like not myself for the past two days after the, um the shot literally i slept throughout the whole day the day after and then the um that was Wednesday, then Thursday, it was like on and off, on and off. And then pretty much everything was just fine. Like the um, soreness lasted only through the night. Like I said, I woke up the next day, didn't feel a thing. So I'm glad that was all I had. But the Monday before the one week span came up, I had a lymph node under my left armpit that was swollen. And I think that's one of the things that they also said, yeah. It's also in here. It was kind of weird because it was burning. It felt like, I don't know, it felt like pins and needles and it was like hot, warm and swollen. I was like, hold on, what's going on? But it turned out that was one of the things Then it left after like what? I went to sleep and it wasn't there. Luckily, that's all that I had, thank God, because I hope that I don't have anything else, fever, chills, coughs, none of that. So my next dose like i said is scheduled for april 27th and i'm going to also do a separate video besides that to guys to kind of like keep you posted let you guys know how it is now i'm not telling you guys to go take the vaccine that is all up to you that's your stuff but i did it if you want to go get it you know schedule yourself i think it's opening up to more people now so do what you got to do if you guys like this video make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up leave some comments down below share this video to your friends family anybody you might think of who might like my video and my content like i said if you are new once again don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications until next time you guys i'm going to see you guys on the next video bam